I'm going to do a very important video here. Um, I heard about this. I looked into it, this whole thing of Steven Anderson. He's being deported and, and banned from all these different countries out there. And I just kind of thought, oh, you know what, whatever at first. But then I started to realize, I started looking up some, doing some research. I'm going to be showing it. I'm going to actually get online and show you this, the proof of this. Um, but I'm seeing mainstream media covering this. Washington Times, uh, NBC, the BBC, you know, very, very big news agencies covering this thing, and they're all talking about Stephen Anderson being King James Bible only, and how he's so dangerous and whatever else. Um, there's something, there's something very real going on here. So let's, I'm going to take you to the internet here, and we're going to look at some of this stuff, some of the evidence, and um, I think we need to be very concerned about this. All right, here we are at Sanderson 1611. Here's his videos talking about how he's going to go to South Africa. And up here you have, this is where it begins. He says he was banned from the United Kingdom. And then he says, well, I can't go to South Africa. I'm going to have to go to Botswana. Up here he's in Botswana. And uh, here his wife is basically asking people, please support us. Please help us because Steve had to, and she keeps calling him pastor. It's kind of weird. I know a lot of Catholics will do that. They don't, well, you know, wives won't even call their husband by his name. They'll say pastor like this, some kind of reverential title. When the word pastor is just a description in the King James Bible, it's never given as a title. But another story. But uh, I found it interesting. I saw a comment on a, one of the articles I read about this whole situation. And somebody said, how is this guy, he has, you know, however many children, nine children or something like this, and his church, quote unquote, has like 120 people in it, and yet he's flying all over the world and just, oh, I need another ticket. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll leave. You know, I'll go here and I'll go there. He's got all this money. Kind of odd. But uh, this one here and this one here are very strange. Let me show you this. Open this thing and open them in new tabs here. Okay, let me just pause that one and this one. Now, if you know anything at all about video production, um, this is clearly a green screen behind him. Look at how he stands out from the screen. How there's a, it's like he doesn't blend in. Especially over here, this portion of his head, it looks, it's just, it's got to be a green screen. I mean, look at the thing. It just looks unnatural. Why isn't the tree moving? Why aren't any of these plants moving? Why are there no clouds in the sky moving? I mean, isn't that kind of odd? I mean, to me, that thing looks completely like a green screen. You know, the lighting is weird and things on him. I mean, it's just strange. And this one here, same thing. Again, look at how it's just like he's, a, it's like he's cut out. And he's got artificial lighting on this side of his face. And again, watch watch the tree. It's not budging. It's not moving. Notice the outline. Now, let's compare that to one of mine where I did it outside one of my more recent studies, right? See the plants moving? I don't look like I'm a cutout there. The water's moving. And if you pause it and you go like this, kind of fast forward, you can see the clouds moving in the background. See it? Now, I mean, just look at it. I mean, it looks, it looks totally fake. It looks completely fake. And it, but if you look at this one where he's in the vehicle, it looks more real. What in the world is going on here? This is some kind of a psyop, some kind of psychological warfare type of a thing that this guy's doing. Very, very, very strange. And let me just show you another little thing here. Okay, not that one. Okay, here's the one where he's supposedly being deported. This is him in here with the blue t-shirt. 
and here's Paul Wittenberger beside him. Why is Steven Anderson traveling around with a professional photographer slash film guy that's worked for Hollywood? Isn't that kind of odd? And there they go, they're, this is him supposedly being deported. Kind of weird. I mean, if he's in Botswana, you know, that looks like right there it probably was, I would think. I don't know. But if he's over there, why the green screen? If you look the whole way through the thing, things are not changing. It's very, very, very strange. And, you know, oh, Botswana is very unfriendly to, you know, Baptist, Bible-believing Baptist type, you know, Christians. Well, here's a, a guy that says they have been in Botswana since the fall of 2012. King James only, Baptist, the whole thing. They've been there since 2012. Why didn't he get deported? And uh, again, I mean, just let's do a Google search here. Just type in Stephen Anderson. There we have BBC, NBC News. Now let's look at this BBC article. You know, BBC News, bots wanted to deport anti-gay U.S. pastor Stephen Anderson. Goes down through here. But look at this. This is where it gets concerning. His church is based in the U.S. state of Arizona and describes itself as old-fashioned, independent, fundamental, King James Bible only. You see, I've been saying this for a long time. This is why I stay on this guy. Because Stephen Anderson is hes a, a disinformation agent. He is counterinsurgency. Um, they're promoting the sodomite agenda very, very strongly through the media. But they need, that's thesis, they need an antithesis, an antithesis. That's Stephen Anderson. You see? They're having to, he's the new Fred Phelps. He's the new poster boy for gay hate is what he is. And they're demonizing Bible-believing Christians through Stephen Anderson, right there. The BBC, folks, the BBC has come out and celebrated the 400th anniversary of the King James Bible. And now they're saying, oh, this King James Bible only group here. See? They're associating Anderson with our movement. And he is not King James Bible only. He'll change the King James Bible if he has to, to, to make a point. I've proved that. See, this is dangerous, folks. This is very, very dangerous. It's a very dangerous thing that's being set here. All right. And let me ask you a question. All right. To you know, another thing to think about here. And again, you know, NBC. It's it's just crazy. But uh, let me ask you a question. If Anderson is such this terrible, horrible guy being deported from countries and banned from the United Kingdom and all this other stuff. Um, why is his channel still up? You know, I've known uh, Christians that have spoken against the sodomite agenda and their channels are taken down. Why is it that this guy who's being deported from countries, why is it his channel is still there? And, I, you know, what's the deal with this room here that he's in? You know, it's got a tiger there in the background. Like he, I guess he's supposed to be at a motel or something someplace. There again. This whole thing is being staged. Here he is, he's speaking at a uh, first Botswana sermon, Living Sacrifice Unto God. And yet you go the whole way through it. It doesn't show one person except for Stephen Anderson. How are we to know that this is actually him in Botswana? Something very, very, very fishy is going on here, and I don't know what it is, but it could be that they're getting ready to stage something, and they're going to use this disinfo guy to bring down persecution on Bible-believing Christians. We need to be in prayer about this, and I think that we need to start publicly coming out and renouncing Stephen Anderson and saying, hey, this guy's not one of us. I mean, he's, he's hitting mainstream media here, people. What's going on? This is very, very, very dangerous. This a very, very bad thing. And, you know, I just let me just show you another thing 
which uh, kind of tips me off as well. I'll click on one of these. Everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Just hey, everybody, this is Pastor Steven Anderson from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Click on another one. Hey, everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Hey, everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Just hey, everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Um, why does he begin every video the same? Uh, it's almost like he's reading from a script, being told what to say. Isn't that kind of peculiar? We're dealing with a disinformation agent here, folks. We're dealing with somebody who's trying to bring persecution down upon true Bible-believing Christians. He doesn't pre preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. He preaches a false gospel that's just believe. And it's so funny because, oh, he hates sodomites, and yet he says all it takes for somebody to get saved is just have a profession that they believe in Jesus Christ. How does that work? He calls turning from sin, he says that that's a false gospel. And yet he preaches that sodomites are wicked and evil and whatever else. Well, if they believe, then they'd be saved according to what he teaches. See, it's just the whole thing is fake. It's fraudulent. It's very, very dangerous. This guy is taking this thing to a new level. This is weird. Okay, this is kind of freaking me out right now. That the mainstream media is covering this guy. And, you know, you look at the thing, it's, it looks like a green screen. The tree's not moving. The sunlight's not changing. You know, you go through it. The sun's still on the ground at the same spot. Very, very, very weird. All right, so there you have it. Um, some very, very weird things. I mean, uh, definitely, it looked to me like it was at least two green screens there with the Botswana update. Um, I don't think he preached to anybody over there. It's kind of ironic too because I was I told my wife about the one video I watched. He actually said that they they led 65 people to the Lord and one of them even came out to church. And I thought that's a pretty uh, bad failure rate actually. 64 people didn't come to church, but one did. I thought Acts uh, the book of Acts talks about and Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. You see what the devil wants right now as he wants to make King James Bible believing Christians look like we are terrorists. Roman Catholicism is in control of the government of this country here in America and they're in control of the governments of pretty much every country at this point through the, the Jesuit order, the Knights of Malta, um, all these different Roman Catholic secret societies, uh, the Knights of Columbus and things, and um, they're in control. But see they, they don't have quite open control yet. They haven't openly taken over, or they're going to start saying, if you speak against Catholicism, we're going to execute you as a heretic, like they did for, you know, almost the last 2,000 years. I mean, Roman Catholicism is just the ancient Roman Empire morphed into religion, is all that the thing is. Uh, they've been putting people to death for thousands of years. All right, so it's, they're just about ready to take over. And see, Bible-believing Christians were not violent. Um... We don't hate people, and uh, we just preach, you know, that Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay for your sins. God loved the world enough to give his own son, his only begotten son. You know, we, we want people to go to heaven. We warn about hell so that you don't have to go there. Um, but see, we're not going to do anything violent, so they have to raise up somebody that will, like Stephen Anderson. And I saw that a long time ago, and that's why I've been spending a lot of time just watching what this guy is doing because he is a disinformation agent. I'm convinced of it because you look at a lot of his stands, they're not even Bible believing stands. And you know, and but he's going to be used to bring persecution to true King James Bible believers. So I think that we all need to make very clear that Stephen Anderson is not part of us and we are not part of his movement either. 
um, persecution is coming. And, I, and you know, I, it sounds cliche because you know what? Yes, we've been saying persecution is coming, and you, it's persecution is coming. Persecution. It's serious. Okay, it's getting real. All right, the sodomite agenda is being used by the Vatican. You look at it, the the pedophile priests and everything over there, and they're they're covering it up and everything else. Um, they're going to use the sodomite agenda. They're promoting this thing and pushing it. The Pope has been coming out and saying that sodomites are fine and whatever else we need to accept this. And you know, they're going to use it to go after Bible believing Christians that say, "Look, the Bible plainly says it's an abomination. You can get saved, you know, but you have to turn from that sin. You can't continue in that sin if you get saved." I don't hate anybody that's a sodomite, you know, but see, they're going to use somebody like Stephen Anderson. The sodomite thing, as I said in my Camtasia video, that when I was online there, um, you know, Stephen Anderson, or excuse me, the sodomite agenda is the thesis, right, in the Hegelian dialectical dialectical system. He's the thesis. Stephen Anderson is the antithesis. They need to have an enemy. See, they sit up the two system there, and then they say we need to make a compromise. See, they bring in new policies that way. So uh, we need to we need to come out and we need to expose this thing, and openly say no. Stephen Anderson does not represent Bible believing Christians. So uh, that's my prayer. That's my hope. We need to get active.